All right. In the last video, I talked about all the legendary items I was able to find in Baldur's Gate 3. Apparently, I missed a few, but whatever, I got the most important ones. Anyway, some of you asked how I was able to do this, so I'm going to go into a bit more detail here about the process of finding these items and spawning them into your game. It's really easy to do, take about five minutes to set up, if that. I do want to say it's your choice to spawn the game's most powerful items into your actual playthrough save game. I don't recommend actually doing that, but it's your game, your choice, obviously. Personally, I just use this program to test things and plan builds out, that kind of stuff. Anyway, so you're going to need three things. First of all, well actually four things. You're going to need Baldur's Gate, hopefully you've got that. Um, you're going to need Cheat Engine. So the website for Cheat Engine is cheatengine.org. You're going to need a file for Cheat Engine that tells it how to interact with Baldur's Gate 3. BG3.ct and you can find this by putting into Google Cheat Engine and Baldur's Gate 3 and it's the first result. And then you're going to need a list of codes, item codes, for each item that you want to spawn in. This is a right pain to get all these items, you have to get them from the game's files and uh, to format them nicely like this it took quite a while. But I've done it for you, so look at you. And I'll be putting the link for this into the video's description. Now all the um, items, I say all, I'm going to let somebody saying you didn't go with the books. Um, these are all the items that are classified as armour or weapons. I didn't look at any other items, um, so you know, don't ask me about those, I'm not really interested in those right now. Uh, but anyway, so all the magical armour and weapons in the game are in this file, most of them anyway, there might be a few that are missing, apparently there's still some legendary spears that you can get part as part of Shadow Hearts quest that aren't in here, but whatever, it's not that important really. Um, now some of these are just really boring like commons and uncommons, um, the ones that are legendary or very rare, which are the two rarest types in the game, I've tagged them for you, so all you have to do to find the legendaries, control F, legendary, and it will go straight to the legendary items. And then if you want the very rares, there's a lot more of those, but just search for very rare. Uh, there's probably about 84 of those, so there's quite a lot. Oh no, 115 it says, there you go. Um, but that, there's also, there's some really good items that are very rare that I would recommend looking at if you're interested in checking these out. Um, okay, so you need those three things. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna install Cheat Engine. So download the file, install it. Um, then you're going to download the bg3.ct file. As, as I said earlier, to find this website, you just need to put into Google Baldur's Gate 3 Cheat Engine, and you will find this, this website. It's called Fearless Revolution. Um, and then you'll need the list of item codes, which will be in the video description. OK, once you've got those three things, all right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to load up Cheat Engine by double clicking the executable. And then you're going to be doing two things. First thing you're going to do is load up the BG3CT file by double clicking it. So you click on the open button, click on BG3.CT and then you'll know you've done it right because there's a list of commands here. Um, and these, these are the commands that will do things in Bold to get through. Now you need to hook the Cheat Engine um, executable into the game. You do that by clicking the little flashing button and going to Baldur's Gate 3. You know you're on the right one because it will have the resolution next to it. Um, now obviously it's safe to do this because it's a single player game. Don't do this in games like Rainbow Six, Call of Duty that are online games because obviously they have programs to detect um, things like Cheat Engine and you'll get banned. I'm sure you already know that but just making sure everybody knows. Uh, but it's perfectly safe to do with Baldur's Gate 3 because it's a single player game. So double click that, click yes to that. And now we're hooked into the game and anything we do in these commands will take place in the game. So we're gonna go to console commands, we're gonna click register commands, and then we're gonna click item spawner. So we've got the command spawn hand crossbow plus two. So if we click on the little box next to it, and go to our game, you'll see that a hand crossbow plus two has been spawned into the game. There it is. Okay, obviously we don't want a hand crossbow plus two, we want 
the better stuff than that. So you're going to go back to your item codes and I'm just going to search for this item here, which is a very rare Warlock Gloves. I just want the code, so I'm going to copy the code and I'm going to go back to the Spawn Hand Crossbow Plus 2 command. I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to click Change Script. I'm going to go to where it says Local UUID and I'm going to select the code inside the quotation marks and copy the new code over the top of it and press OK. The name of the code, the name of the command won't have changed but it will now spawn in the new item. There it is. And here's a sneak peek for the next video I'm going to do which is all going to be, uh, which is going to be all about the rare, very rare items in the game. This is probably one of the best ones. Warlocks are going to enjoy this one. It makes your Eldritch Blast hit twice. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Anyway, um, so that is how to use the item spawner. Hopefully that's helpful. There are other things you can do. I mean, you can explore it yourself, but the most useful one probably from a testing perspective is if you go to on-demand, so we were in item spawner, now we go to on-demand on cheats, click on that. And there's a whole bunch of uh, cheats here which are really useful. So first of all, you can rest, it says restore party. This one doesn't work for some reason. If you go to restore party, that's like taking a long rest. So if I just burn a spell, whatever. Um, so now if I click restore party, you can see I got the spell slot back. And uh, there's other ones here. So there's add gold. If you want to add gold, you can do. Um, this is probably the most useful one though. So add 100 experience. This is how I got my character to level 12. And I did that so that I can test things, find out what the cleric gets at level 10, for example. Uh, test how attacks work and stuff like that. You know, if I've got an idea for a build and I want to test um, to see if it will, will really work, uh, then you can get yourself to level 10, uh, 12. Sorry. Now you can do this by clicking the button and it will just give you the XP. However, this 100 experience, it's going to take a long time to get to level 12. That's a lot of clicks. So if you right click on the command, go to change script, change the 100 to 1000. Well, you could do 10,000 if you wanted. Um, and now I'm getting a thousand and that's going to get to level 12 a lot faster uh, which means you can do your testing much more easily so you can test out builds and so on see how things work so those are probably the most two uh, the, the two most useful commands that you can get uh, but there are other ones here you might want to use them maybe you're stuck maybe a bugs cause you to get stuck in the game and you need to use a cheat to get past it whatever um, anyway so that's cheat engine Hopefully that's uh, answered all your questions on how to use that program. Any other questions, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, okay. See ya.